Let's do some news. My name is Mike B, aka Phony. Today's day is July 26, 2019. And boy, do we have a, an episode. Every week we have an episode. But boy, today we have an episode. Uh, so first off, welcome to my guest star today, my guest host. Filling in today for... Olivia Wilde, who couldn't make it, say hello to Uncle Chat. Thank you so much for sitting in, guys. Sorry Olivia Wilde couldn't make it. Uh, just some scheduling conflicts and whatnot. <sighs> so today, uh, the smaller automata is, yeah, this was, this was it, but it's being replaced. <sighs> uh, so today, we were better. <laughs> oh, did you guys want heartbeat for Olivia Wilde? I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, we can still bring this up sometimes. All right, so today we got to start off with, I mean, we've had like two weeks of bad news. This one, uh, um, uh, well, uh, equally as bad uh, and impactful. So Jeff and Control Robinson passed away this past Saturday, I believe. It was a Saturday or Sunday, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but uh, it was sudden. He passed away at the age of 33. He had a uh, pulmonary embolism, which uh, if those of you guys don't know, basically that is a... Uh, a blood clot. Uh, I don't know any other details outside of that, but as you can imagine, <laughs> as you can imagine, the uh, the signal, there's no signal there, so we'll fix that in just a minute. So I'll just go ahead and talk through this one, and then I'll go ahead and fix that in just a minute. But um, but yes, yeah, so he did, he did pass away. It was very sudden. This obviously had a massive impact on the community, and it is something that, um, uh, uh, that, I mean, you know, obviously when we talk about you know, Jeff now this week, uh, you know, Total Biscuit comes up. Total Biscuit was also 33 when he passed last year. Uh, the big difference between the two is that, you know, with Total Biscuit, we we all pretty much knew that it was coming, uh, especially at, well, we knew it was coming towards the end because even he had kind of, uh, even he had acknowledged it himself that, you know, that he's going to make the best of what he can uh, out of the time that he had left. Uh, with Jeff, you know, he was streaming two days before he passed away. But the one thing that you can be, uh, certain of is that it was a um, that it was uh, 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 painless. Uh, usually, when I, from from what I understand, uh, is uh, when a blood control blood clot uh, breaks free and and clogs things up, um, death happens pretty quickly. So uh, at least we can uh, at least at least we have that at the at the very least. Um, there's been. Uh, obviously, a huge outpouring from the community. Uh, he was a he was a he was a huge, huge, huge personality in the StarCraft II community, uh, and so uh, that whole entire community is in mourning. And uh, you know, there's been I mean, I mean, imagine every single one of his friends are very public facing people, right? Every single one, right? Look at every single caster that's ever sat with him. Uh, on any kind of couch, I ever worked with them in any any capacity or anything like that. They're all they're all public facing people, and so when something like this happens in the community like that, like this is like you're getting very public reactions from everybody, and no, not everybody knows how to what to say or how to react or um, you know, you know there's, there's there's sometimes there's just not there's just not words there's just not words. Uh, Day Nine did a um, did a stream where he basically just uh, just talked about Jeff. Uh, it was a two and a half hour stream, and I, I'll be honest, I didn't watch all of it. It was very tough. It's a very tough watch. Uh, as you guys know, Day9 is a very passionate person, so... Uh, and what I, I think I said something yesterday in the StarCraft room on dis in Discord is that uh, you know you've had a positive, a a positive impact on, on a community when Day9 makes a two and a half hour video um, talking about you, like in, 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 in your honor. Like, that's... And that's just, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Like there's, there's such a huge outpouring, uh, uh, like obviously I have to correct the no signal issue that I have here in a second, but, uh, in the, uh, uh in the show notes and I'll go ahead and I can't paste it in chat, but, uh, in the show notes, um, down, down below, if you're watching on YouTube, there's actually a thread on Reddit, uh, that does, a, that has a really good summary of every, like every major or every friend or, or major contributor to the StarCraft community or gaming community who is friends with Jeff, uh, with what their, you know, what their piece was on Jeff. So if you want to read what is effectively, you know, an internet obituary, um, obituary? No. What is that? No. Uh, what is it called when you, 
What are the words? <laughs> what is the word when you, you get up and you talk about how awesome somebody was in life? Uh, eulogy. Thank you so much. Yes, a eulogy. Um, yeah, so the, uh, uh, it's basically, it's equivalent to what we get as a, uh, you know, on the internet. Uh, closest we could get to a eulogy. And this is what happens when you have a, let me see if I could uh, paste this. Oh, good, it worked. There it is. Okay, good. So uh, for everybody there. Uh, you guys can look at that and check, take a look at it. Lots, lots of reactions there. So again, it is very much like a eulogy compilation and you guys can go through. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually hit a button here and I'm going to go and I'm going to swap out that cable. And uh, that way I could play with, play you guys the Overwatch tribute. Cause I really do feel like the Overwatch tribute did a really great job of, uh, it's very short and succinct. And honestly, there are so many, uh, in control compilations because he was, he was, he was very outspoken, like he's like very outspoken and very, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. Like his type of humor was so just like, just raw, man. Um, he didn't sugarcoat shit and, uh, he had such a way of putting things, especially when dealing with other casters, like when he worked with like new casters, he always gave them the rub just a little bit, right? Just kind of, you know, get them, uh, uh, uh to help them get their head in the game, but at the same time also kind of give them shit. Yeah, ball buster. Yeah, dude, dude. Jeff Control, or Jeff, Jeff Control. Jeff, Jeff was, uh, was definitely a ball buster in the, the best possible way. The absolute best possible way. The horse story. Oh, man. The horse story. Uh, you'll have to look it up. Okay, you'll have to look it up. Jeff in Control horse story. Like, the stuff that this guy thought of on the fly was just, uh just absolutely outstanding like just shit that you just don't hear man just so creative so creative uh so uh here in a sec i am going to play for you guys the short tribute that uh, the overwatch league stream did for jeff but just know that there's already existed plenty of compilations you can go and watch that uh cover things that honestly cover things a bit more honestly to who jeff was because of you know his type of comedy and everything um and uh, it's not quite as somber as the uh, Overwatch League piece that was put together, but it's still a good one. So let me go ahead and hit this button here, and then I'm going to go and swap cables, and then we're going to watch it together. I am joined here at the desk by the one and only in control. Hello. It's good. I'm glad to do this. It's all building up for this moment right here now. Let's cast some WCS. Let's do it. I think he's more of like a kind of a warmish stick of butter i believe a very good looking one though the kind you want to slather on your body i have one question to start things off asking mc did you ever think you were gonna lose this guys i see someone's very excited for this series zest looks darn good with this shirt off but in this game he might as well keep all his clothes on because it's not looking so hot so wrong <laughs> so incredibly wrong representing freedom burgers French fries and all that is good in this world. It is the. I didn't get enough of you on the couch during the half. You can't. You can't escape. And here we are again together. So, give me a. Oh. Yeah, that's tough. That's a tough one, man. That's a tough one to watch. I, I, I really do. I highly, highly encourage. Uh, you guys to go and watch. Just go watch one. It's been, if you could find the horror story, how about this? I will find the horror story and I'll put it in the show notes so that way you guys could just go and just click on it. All right. Please watch it. Before continuing this video, watch it and then come back and then, uh, cause again, like that he is. He's he's such a comedian. He was such a comedian and, um, I mean, the community really, 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 uh, you know, really lost, you know, I mean, a titan in this uh in starcraft 2 it's fucking crazy um and i know he's the same age as me yeah yeah 33 uh thank you so much nath i will actually go through and copy this and move it over it's a little too long to play on stream here so i'm just gonna go and take it and and put it over here so so um yeah please take the time to watch that if you can it is totally worth a watch and and it's really fucking funny. It is really, really, really fucking funny. Uh, but yes, he will absolutely be missed. And um, and yeah. So let's see. What is next? Fuck, this is the worst fucking transition. Ugh. There is no transition for this. So Alinity happened this week. 
<laughs> oh man. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. Um, so Alinity, I sigh, I know, I know, I know, I know. So first off, let me go ahead and show you guys what it is that happened. Because if you've been living under a rock, then this is something you may have actually missed. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this open here. We're not, I'm not logged in, so it's going to be, sorry, I'm going to blind you guys. I'm not going to blind you guys. Let me get out of here. Let me go. I'm not that mean. Let me actually open up another window here. My dark mode didn't carry over to my incognito. Bam, there we go. Um... Boop, boop, boop. Oh gosh, stop, stop auto playing my shit. So, this is the initial incident that happened, uh, and I'll go ahead and play it for y'all. Milo! In case you missed, I'm gonna go back. Milo! In case you missed, I'm gonna go back. Okay, Milo. I guess. In case you missed, I'm gonna go back. One more time. One more time. So, Die. shut up. All right, so, Sunday, really? This is poor timing. Come here. So, uh, <laughs> oh, she's walking away now. Um, oh, man. Wait, I missed it. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not gonna throw Sunday. I have no interest in throwing Sunday. No interest whatsoever in throwing Sunday. Doug from Up, get out of here. What the fuck? Don't worry, guys, everything's fine. Uh, so, Alinity threw a cat behind her onto a bed. All right, just want to put that in the context too. There's a bed behind her. She threw it. I apparently hit the bed. Uh, at least that's what I that's what I heard. I don't I don't watch her stream to know exactly the layout of her room, or her streaming rig. But from what I read, uh, there is a bed behind her. And that's where it landed. Um, she is also in the past, I guess, given her cat vodka, uh, like a, a squirt of vodka. She drank a little bit, sipped a little bit, and then she like like squirt some in the cat's mouth. Cat freaked out. Uh, she's also in the past, uh, put a sticker on her cat's face, like, so the cat can't see. And I don't know if you've ever put anything on a cat, but they freak out when they do that. Um, and she turned around and kind of laughed about it. Uh, the, Alinity has definitely had, uh, a litany of different, um, things that normally we would assume would get somebody at least some kind of temporary ban, right? At least, at the very fucking least, a temporary ban. Um, but alas, nothing, uh, has, uh, has actually come of this, uh, or basically anything. And the assumption is that, uh, she has some kind of dirt on, uh, on people at Twitch and they are protecting her. Now, there's no way to really know, <laughs> uh, there's no way to really know if she does or does not, unless, of course, you're fucking Keemstar, who <laughs> recently said that he has a bunch of dirt. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, now, this thing is blown up. Yes, Twitch, hold us accountable. Uh, this, this, this thing is obviously blown up. It is blown up so fucking much. So much. I don't even know where to start with, like, how this is blown up. We'll just start with, she, she's in fucking Know Your Meme, right? So she's got an entry in fucking Know Your Meme. DJ Wheat chimes in and says as a cat owner i'm very upset about the recent news i am also someone who does not have moderation powers or enforcement just like just like i can't fix your subscriptions i want to see a ban i do not want to be harassed uh because you think that's the right thing to do so so i do not want to be harassed yeah so he he's even said even dj wheat has said that uh that he wants he would like to see a ban of some fucking kind of some kind like now, okay, so now I could, I guess I could see where now uh, maybe Twitch will say, well, if we ban her, it's because we're giving in to public, public influence and public, you know, public outrage. And it's like, no, <laughs> no, we wanted a ban because she threw her fucking cat because she mishandled her fucking cat. Like I have a cat. She's sitting right here. I would never fucking throw her like that. I would never throw her. I, I have picked her up and tossed her on the bed, right? But I would never blindly throw her behind me, even if I knew there was something behind her, uh, there behind me for her to land on. I just would never do that. I don't know anybody who would who would look at that video and say, "Oh yeah, I throw my cat all the time," unless you were a piece of shit, unless you were a huge fucking piece of shit. And well, I, I guess I guess it's not that big of a piece of shit thing to do because uh, nothing's happening there. Nothing, absolutely nothing is uh, is happening on that front. Um, Peta. PETA has gotten involved and has said, attention Twitch support. 
Take a stand for cats and please remove Alinity from Twitch immediately. She is using the platform to post post animal abuse, which sends a dangerous message to anyone watching her videos. Cats are not props to abuse for more views. I don't like PETA also. Okay, yeah, I'm not a PETA fan. I think PETA is fucking garbage. But I agree with them on this. <laughs> but I fucking agree with them on this. Uh, if we if we ban her, we're giving into public outrage and winding up for uh, uh, winding up doing the right thing. So we're just gonna be assholes instead. Yeah, totally. Um, it sucks, but I don't think Twitch are accountable for her behavior. They're not accountable for her behavior. They're accountable for how they react to her behavior. That is the way it works on this platform. Uh, right now, the way it sits, Alinity is a bad look for Twitch. They're a bad look for Twitch, or she's she is a bad look for Twitch. Um, everybody, it's on everybody's radar now. Like everybody is well aware of what happened. Let me actually go ahead and do a uh, let me do an incognito search here. Do do do. Okay, so, I mean, <laughs> there's articles all over the place. What do we got? We got the Daily Dot, the Ver uh, we got Verge, BuzzFeed, Bounding a Dexerto, I don't know what Dexerto is, uh, Heavy, uh, Game Rant, I mean, I, I don't know half these fucking sites, but this is not, this is not, like, something that's gonna be so easily swept under the rug, or maybe it will be, I don't fucking know, but it's not a good look. This is not something, I don't feel like this is something that Twitch wants to have associated with them. But as far as I'm concerned, in terms of moderation, yeah, this is what they allow to happen. Um, I don't know what, I don't know if there's some kind of favoritism going on here, right? I can't say that there is favoritism going on. <laughs> Letter P, whoops. <laughs> I don't know if there is some kind of favoritism going on here. I can't say for sure or whatever. Uh, but what I can say with absolute fucking certainty now is that Twitch has a huge moderation problem uh, in terms of consistency. Uh, I understand they have a moderation team and they vote on things or whatever, but they're not consistent. And you can't say money because Alinity is not, Alinity is not that big of a streamer, guys. Like, this is not, we're not talking about Dr. Disrespect or Ninja or, uh, or Pokemon or any, we're not talking about somebody who actually has viewers, okay? We're talking about you know, a mid, a mid-level, uh, streamer. Period. She's not, she's not bringing in the big bucks. Uh, so this is not an issue of, of money. This is an issue of inconsistent moderation. Um, or a lack of oversight in moderation. Somebody who maybe looks at every single band that comes across on somebody who even is remotely popular uh, and says, hey, you know what? Because shit, people get banned all the time, right? So when I say remotely popular, I mean like somebody who has like, you know, uh, over a certain number of viewers or something like that. Um, and basically looks at things and say, yeah, you know what? We need to keep a consistent level of moderation across the board. But apparently there's not. I guess maybe it's just some system where everybody fucking votes like that one Black Mirror episode, and everybody determines the fate on a whim. So somebody could get banned for one thing, and the next person could do the exact same thing and get, get off scot-free. And that's a huge problem. On a platform as big as Twitch, that is, that is a huge issue. Uh, and something that they, they absolutely need to you know, look into. Um, she makes all of us Colombians look bad. <laughs> she makes everyone look bad. <laughs> oh, Joe, she makes everyone look bad. <laughs> Oh, man. This is associated with the exact same act as Alinity and got a 14 days ban trying to find it. It sounds like politics. It does, right? Because this is a moderation can be set for just about anything this, these days. Yeah, exactly. There's, yeah, there's, we don't know what, we don't know what the disconnect is. We have no idea what the fucking disconnect is with, with, with moderation. But it really sounds like it is 100% vote. Everybody votes. And then that's it. And nobody really looks at, every, uh, at overall the, the issues and saying, uh, and saying, hey, you know what? We need to be consistent. We need to be consistent with this. We banned somebody for something like this, you know, two weeks ago. We should do the same thing here. Should absolutely do the same thing here. Um, she has since, she has since issued an apology. So everyone understand the concern. I'm sorry for my lapses in judgment. I shouldn't have gotten frustrated with Milo, but I dropped him on the floor behind my chair. I'm not oh, on the floor. I thought it was a bed. It's even fucking worse. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I would never do that. I don't know. Under I don't understand <laughs> why anyone would fucking do that. Oh yeah, I, I'm not blocked. I'm not blocked. I've never said anything about her uh, on uh, on Twitter. 
because uh, I'm sure I'll get blocked, and I don't really care if I do. I'm really. <laughs> it's funny. Mike's all blocked. <laughs> That's the first reaction. Oh, shit, son. <laughs> um, uh, so I'm not that strong. The vodka thing was well over a year ago, but it was also a stupid thing to do. I also understand the desire to report me to pet authorities and encourage anyone to do so. They feel pets are being mistreated by anyone anywhere. My animals are loved, are well loved, and live in a warm and caring home, and I will comply with any authority that seeks to validate this. Apparently, she, she, she also followed up with this later that said, uh, um, uh, that, uh, there was a scheduled visit by somebody, some kind of authority to make sure that the pets are, are doing okay or something. So she could copy strike me. She probably could try, um, and maybe perhaps succeed, but that's fine. It's like, <laughs> I'll see you on LSF. <laughs> uh, is that why your cat took a steamy dump on her head? Boy, if only, if only, um, I will be I will be a certified copyright lawyer in 30 days if she strikes this video. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, we'll see what happens, but um but I think I think the biggest takeaway from this is that Alinity is absolutely a huge piece of shit and she uh she 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 really does need to have some kind of discipline thrown her way. And the longer we wait to do this, the more it looks like the more it looks like Twitch is just giving in to, you know, outrage uh and not so much them uh, actually making a decision based off of the actions of the, of the streamer themselves. And so it kind of takes away from that. So it's in the end, you know, if she gets banned, maybe say like next week for like three days or seven days or, or one day, um, it'll just seem like, oh, you know what? Like it's, it was because they, they had to do it because people were mad and less about the, the acts that she did. Now I understand that some folks are going to say, you know, oh, that little bit of vodka doesn't hurt a cat. Or, oh, throwing, throwing a cat from that height doesn't really do anything. It's totally fine. And you're right, it doesn't. It doesn't really do anything. But just because it doesn't, you know, it won't necessarily hurt every cat that you throw over, you blindly throw over the back of your, your head while you're playing a video game, just because it doesn't hurt every single cat doesn't mean that it's worth taking the risk. It's not. And it's not fair to the cat. What the fuck did that cat do to you? You could just fucking put the cat off to the side. Right? Instead of throwing it over your head. What kind of piece of shit does that? So... Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a cat owner. <laughs> uh, the worst outcome is if they give her like a seven day ban to cave. She needs to feel the hurt back. Yeah. Twitch did ban a guy for posting a joke cat, uh, a joke cat throwing her on Twitter, throwing, throwing video on joke cat throwing video on Twitter. Uh, hold on. Let me preview this over here if you don't mind. Um, is this just, uh, oh, this is a few days. More proof Twitch does not need, does not treat. Oh, so, so Keemstar. So first off, Keemstar is kind of a piece of shit himself. <laughs> but. But he occasionally comes out with some pretty, some pretty good uh, news. I actually just watched a video this morning because I was going to look to see what the fucking news was that he said that he had on this whole situation, and he still put out nothing. Um, but it was actually it, it was uh, concerning a model that that uh, that actually followed on uh, on Instagram, and I guess she got tied up with some guy, not tied up, but well, she was actually kind of held captive for a minute by some fucking actor or something. Uh, and it was this huge thing, and I watched that, and I was like, holy shit, and that was all true. So all that shit was true, because I follow the model on Instagram. Um, and, and anyway, so, so he's saying, more proof that Twitch does not treat women and men the same. This guy posted a joke video of a cat being thrown on Twitter, not his video, something he found online with a caption, look what Alinity taught me, and a Twitch allegedly banned him for it. Alinity still not banned. Still not banned. So, this shows direct comparison. Uh, what is this one, then? Let me see. Hold on a second, I gotta put it over here. Right, real quick. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know what? I could, I could play this. I could play this. So, this is a guide to Twitch moderation. It's so, you, it's how, how, it is kind of interesting. First off, both of these people are pieces of shit. Don't ever fucking throw your animal. I don't care if they're, like, nature designed to fucking land on their feet. Um, but this is, but, but still, though, uh, this is, this is a pretty apt comparison to show that one person you know, was banned for a certain amount of time, the other person was not, which just, to me, just further drives home the point that somebody is not overseeing the community, the, the, the community management or banning team or whatever, um, and, uh, and there needs to be somebody there. So, Twitch, if you're watching this, maybe to, I don't know, give me a ban or something like that for showing this video, uh, please hire somebody to manage your actual moderation team before you ban me. So, um, one-handed bad, uh, two-handed fine. Maybe that's what it was. She did use two hands. She did use two hands. The one-handed thing, that was, that's, that's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, you're right. That's dangerous. <laughs> oh, man. Um, <clears throat> so, obviously, this whole thing is 
spurred all these like all these it, all these fucking memes. It's fucking everywhere, right? Uh, and one of the funniest ones I've think, seen is uh, uh, what's the name? Still Gray at Still Gray on Twitter. Uh, I've screenshotted this because uh, I don't necessarily want to associate myself with certain streamers directly by posting uh, uh, and linking to their content, uh, but or, or uh, uh, inter internet personalities, I'll say. I don't know Still Gray well enough to necessarily link directly to him. Let me just say that. Uh, but he did get an interesting threat uh, by somebody uh, through DMs, and I'll go ahead and actually pop this open so you can see it, and I'll read this out loud to you. It says, it was less than a teaspoon of vodka, you fucking pussy. Also, don't shit talk and hate on other successful streamers just because you don't get any views or you aren't where you want to be. It only takes one punch from me to get into a coma. So I suggest one serving of my fist, you tool bag. I'd love to smash you out. Did I read that with right inflection? I'm not quite sure. It only takes one punch from me to get into a coma. I feel like I need, like, glasses. Right? And like, like lots of fucking muscles or something, and maybe a little bit of, 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 of echo in my shit. It only takes one punch for me to get into a coma. So I suggest one serving of my fist. Tool bag. Here. <laughs> you need a ball head and a spandex hero suit, yeah. <laughs> Put it back. I know I, need a, I didn't have a bandana or anything, guys. Sorry, I'm only doing with the props I currently have available to me. Anyways, the fucking the the fucking memes that come out of this is like I love this one. It only takes one punch for me to get into a coma. One one punch to get into a coma, as if a, as if a coma pulls up in a car and says, "Hey, you want to get in? Just cost you one punch. <laughs> Just hop on in." Oh man. So yeah, that's that was a good one. Um, Keemstar did. <laughs> a case, um. Yes, he also posted a picture of himself. I don't have the picture, unfortunately. I, I did, I, here's the thing, I'll be honest. I didn't want to make fun of the way the guy looked. I'm sorry. I know that makes, I know that makes me a piece of shit. I didn't want to make fun of the way the guy looked. But I'm not surprised at how he looked. <laughs> but I won't, I won't show it here, right? <laughs> but I'm not surprised. No, 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 not surprised at all. Uh, so Keemstar, he has a rat tail, doesn't he? I didn't, I didn't see the picture of the back, but probably. Um, Keemstar did say that he has some dirty posts this couple a couple of days ago. He says, "I know the dirt you have on the Twitch stash, uh, Twitch Twitch stat, uh, Alinity. You won't have that that dirt forever because I'm about to drop it, dear Twitch staff. Hire your divorce attorneys now, man. This is this is like so, oh, man. This is so, this is crazy. I can't believe that like." Like he has this dirt, he's literally telling Twitch staff to hire the divorce attorneys and everything. That's that is so direct and fake. Yeah. Uh, as as far as we know, as of this recording, he doesn't have shit. Oh, sorry. I forgot that. I know the dirt you have on Twitch staff. You won't have that dirt forever, cause I'm about to drop it, baby. Woo! Hire your divorce attorneys. Let's go. Uh, but he has since dropped shit. He posted a video uh, that PewDiePie made like a year ago. And that was it. So we'll see. Uh, <laughs> Kim has nothing to be scared of from Twitch since he's not allowed on the platform anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, we'll see if anything uh, comes from that. But I, don't, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily. I, I wouldn't necessarily get your hopes up for that. Uh, for any kind of actual news this really does i mean as of this as of this recording it really does feel like he doesn't have shit or anything really um yeah very heavy-handed with implications but like nothing nothing to really deliver uh with it so we'll have to just uh, wait and see i mean the video he posted it's his old ass video is this new uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh is this new please tell me right when i fucking talk about it Oh, no, this is, no, I saw this already. I didn't, so I did not include this, but you know, I'm glad you brought it up. I'm glad you brought it up, Guns, because uh, I only did not include this because it's completely, it's, it's, it's just, it's not, um, it's inconsequential to the news. Uh, so there is, there is, if you do happen to, to come across this fake tweet, it says, I got information, a video proof of Linity flirting, kissing three Twitch staffs, uh, which are either married or dating. This is the dirt she's had on them for da, 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 all this stuff. Uh, it says, I never tweeted this. This is the fake tweet. Yeah, I saw this. I saw this right before the tweet, for the tweet, uh, or for the, for the show. And because I, I, I have been constantly refreshing his fucking YouTube page trying to uh, uh, see uh, if he's going to post anything, and he has not. But he has said that it's a fake tweet, and he had to address it because people ask him why I deleted it, and he said it's not a real tweet. 
So, um, I, I'll, I'll tell you, I've had his page up and refreshing quite often in the past 24 hours, and I have not seen this tweet. So I can't tell you if this is, uh, if this is real or not, but I can tell you with almost absolute certainty that it did not pop up within the past 24 to 36 hours. Uh, not least not that I have seen. I wonder if he does have shit and he's in talks with Lenny to get some free action. Oh, God. No. <laughs> Nobody. Nope. Oh, gee. I don't even want to touch that. Um, yeah, it's it's just a. <sighs> it's it's hitting everybody right now. It's like everybody is uh, is is getting some kind of blowback or some kind of extra, you know, side shit from, uh, uh, from this whole banning ordeal. Uh, don't bother Keem makes shit up all the time. He's a TMZ of YouTube. I know, but there was that 5%, man. That's what I was talking to a buddy who was like 95% of the time he's full of shit. And it's like, yeah, but I'm hoping for that 5%. Like it's, I was hoping that he had something because you don't, I don't feel like you don't fucking make a claim that you have something and then fucking not say anything. But apparently that's just the way the Keemstar works. And I, I'm just so silly to believe otherwise. So I'm sorry. Um, but you know, other people are getting banned on Twitch on, uh, which happens all the time. People get banned. This guy says I got banned on Twitch, uh, banned again on Twitch. This time it's for interacting with my streaming equipment while driving. Apparently I'm not allowed to take my phone out of its dashboard holster while the car is fully stops to hide the area that I lived in. So this guy was streaming, um, and he, uh, uh, and he, I guess he had stopped to, uh, take the car, to take the, to hide, basically hide where he lives. Uh, but he did it while he was fully stopped. Uh, he does follow up later. He says it's a seven day ban. I will appeal. The additional context I got was that I was interacting with chat while talking on the phone off the holster as it was on my lap. I'm usually insanely careful about this. And I think I literally addressed it while I was taking the phone off the holster. And he says, I can't see the clip, unfortunately, but I trust my account manager. Texting and driving is dangerous. And I understand why a lot of streamers have been getting banned for it lately. It sucks that I, uh, that I thought I was being careful, but I got, I get why Twitch is going hard on this. So he is, he's, you know, taking ownership of this. Uh, but of course it's, but Hey, Linity can feed her cat vodka and literally, literally throw it across the room all on camera. And the only people that caught the ban, uh, were the people reporting her. <laughs> The five percent. That five percent is the reason people even think he's relevant. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's everywhere, man. Like everybody is. Uh, oh, I lost this. Uh, this tweet. No, I did not. Uh, this is another one. This one I actually thought was pretty interesting. So this guy. This guy shows up. This is like the same day. Actually, this other that uh, the uh, Alinity thing really started to blow up. It says like I just. Got, he said I just got banned on Twitch for something I did not do, and <clears throat> and. Uh, uh, and of course, the, the responses. I put this in because the response is pretty funny. It says the staff probably thought you would treat cats. Uh, the right way, and that's just strictly not allowed on Twitch. So obviously, this is going to be a relatively permanent thing, a permanent scar on Twitch. Oh God, what is that? Okay, just make sure. Um, uh, is it there because of my false report Twitch ban? I can't appear in anyone else's live stream, or they instantly ban too, which is essentially blah blah blah. So yeah, don't don't invite him onto your podcast. But here's something I thought was kind of interesting: is that this it does seem like this guy is being targeted. Um, and this is actually, this is, we're shifting gears. We're going to get away from Twitch for a second. Yes, Twitch does have an issue. Uh, they have, they definitely have a, uh, uh, a perception issue that they are okay with some kind of, an, some forms of an, animal abuse by certain people on Twitch, on the Twitch platform. Um, but we're going to switch gears over to YouTube here, if we can. Eggers, thank you. Um, so this is the screen that you see whenever you get uh, uh, a copyright strike or a copy strike, as some people will put it. Uh, <laughs> James Ski has literal hundreds of copyright claims with similar nonsense. Yeah, so this guy, this guy, I think, is just, in general, just being targeted. Uh, it, we'll go and actually watch this one. It's one minute long here. And unfortunately, I still don't have any updates regarding my Twitch ban, but this video is not about that. So a couple of moments ago, I received an email that I just received another copyright claim, and it was via chat in a natural seven. And this video, by now, already had, like, five copyright claims total. And to make it clear, I disputed all the previous ones and I won every single one of them. Like I won four copyright claim disputes. One of which was for the same reason I just received the new one. I have no idea how do they manage to give me the same copyright Notice claim. Notice it says manual, twice in a row. manually detected. But I just wanted to share with you what is the actual reason why they, they claim my video for. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it i mean he got he that that's that will manual copy copyright strike <sighs> copy strike uh because of that 
<laughs> because of that. So uh, I think this person is just being targeted. And as uh, as Sam, I don't watch. I don't watch a lot of his stuff. His stuff. His his tweet only came up because of the um because because of all of the uh, all the issues with uh, 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 all these bands and. So it's always getting banned for for some reason, but Lenny's not getting banned at all. Uh, and again, you know, I I, I agree. Like I, I do feel like you know, as DJ Wheat said, that she is deserved of some kind of ban. As the Twitch and longtime Twitch employee and face of Twitch, as he said that uh, uh, I'll read it again. I want to see a ban. Just one, just one, just that part right there. That's the most important part. I want to see a ban. Um, and yeah, so do I. So do I. I would like to see a ban. The longer they wait, though, and it's already always, it's already been a week. The longer they wait, the more it becomes. Oh, they just banned me because because of internet outrage, and not about the actual act itself. And that's you know that's on Twitch. Uh, I'll say this though. Um, nobody's gonna forget this. Going forward, like Twitch moderation team is a fucking joke right now in everybody's mind. Look at just Google just Google Alinity Twitch. And look how many people are, like, calling for some kind of action. And we haven't gotten shit from Twitch. Nothing. And so, yeah, the internet thinks that the Twitch moderation team is a joke. There's no oversight there. I have no idea how things are run. But clearly there's no oversight there. If there is oversight, then there is... Then somebody there is complicit in something. Okay? I don't know what, but somebody there is doing something fucking wrong. And they need to fix it because I love this platform. I love using Twitch uh, to, you know, to reach out to the community and everything. I think it's a great platform. I think there's great people that work there. Um, but I really, I, I, I really feel like they have an issue. And if, I mean, if, if they can't clean up, if they can't clean up their act, then people are going to leave. People are going to fucking leave. And, and that's going to be that. Like all, like Mixer and uh uh and other sites d live <laughs> youtube they are more than happy to stick around neither one of those platforms are going anywhere twitch can't just out money them microsoft's not going anywhere google is not going anywhere twitch cannot out money them they have to compete uh and continue to compete and continue to be the the leader in uh in streaming and this is a step back it just makes it it makes them look like shit makes them look like shit uh bring back justin already amazon can out money them though yeah but no no, no but there, there's a certain point where even amazon is going to say you know what we'll just sell you guys a 10 cent and that'll be that and you know that's true 10 cent will be more than happy to just be like oh yeah sure we'll take we'll take majority claim no problem because that's not up to t Twitch to decide. That'll be up to Amazon. If Amazon feels like this is hurting their business, they'll just, they'll just pass the buck. They'll just like, you know what? We're just going to sell this off to Tencent. And then we'll all be working for Tencent. <sighs> Again. Fuck. <laughs> We have an update right now, courtesy of Uncle Chad Terrell, thank you so much. We have an update on the Alinity situation. The Saskatoon SPCA has, great timing, much Russian, uh, has, ti has, timed, has, uh, has issued a statement regarding the Alinity investigation. They did go down and, uh, and take a look at, um, uh, I guess, at, at, you know, the, they assessed the situation with Alinity and her pets, and they have actually come out and said... On July 19, 2019, Animal Protective Services based out of Saskatoon SPCA received concerns regarding mistreatment of animals on a popular online streaming platform, Twitch. Animal, Animal Protection Services have reviewed the video evidence provided and have completed inspections of the home, the animals both involved and living within the residence, and conducted interviews with the owner, Natalia Mogollon, uh, who goes by the online name of Alinity Divine. The investigation determined that there was no malicious intent in any of the reported incidents, and the owner expressed genuine remorse for her actions. During their investigation, animal uh, protection officers assessed each animal and determined that all appeared to be in good health and had friendly dispositions. Mogollon has... <laughs> 
who is cooperative and willing to provide any uh, information requested by officers. I'm sorry, I've never heard this last day before in my life, so I'm having a really difficult time handling it. Uh, the actions depicted in each incident were not malicious in nature, and the animals appeared healthy and well. Mogollon slash Alinity was educated on her responsibilities as a pet owner according to the Animal Protection Act. Saskatoon SPCA appreciates all those who show concern and care for the well-being of animals everywhere and envisions a compassionate community where all animals are valued and respected and thrown respectively. Um, and so, yeah, the, the, it's, it's, uh, 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 this, this, this is the official update. You could, you could pretty much say that, uh, uh, you, you could pretty much assume that Twitch is going to basically lean on this and they're just not going to do anything. So, uh, However, this doesn't really explain the situation of somebody else throwing and getting a 14-day ban. What we can say is that we don't know the context of that second GIF uh, uh, that, uh, that, we, that we show the comparison on. Uh, we don't know if that is, if there's other context there. Like, I don't know, maybe she threw the cat and then called it the N-word. In which case, wow, maybe that deserves a ban. Uh, but we don't know. So this is, uh, this is the final say. I would go ahead and say this is the final say. Uh, on this matter, and, uh, well, <laughs> if this is the look, if this is the look that Twitch wants for its future, then, uh, then so be it. Then so be it. So that's it. That's your breaking news. Now back to the rest. <laughs> uh, I wonder what streaming platform will be the first publicly announced that they won't accept animal abuse on their platform. Fuck. <laughs> the Star Call of Life. No. How does bad press have to how how bad does bad press have to be for you to consider the press is not worth it anymore? Yeah, exactly. So it makes it to be a bigger thing. It's only a matter of time. Uh you know, the, the the longer things, I mean, it really it really truly is only a matter of time. Uh Twitch is hip right now. But once once the next generation of, of, of kids grows up and they start using their own platforms like TikTok and all that. Uh, they're going to look at Twitch as like, oh, yeah, my dad streams there. Case in point, my son, <laughs> my son uh, is going to eventually grow up and be like, oh, yeah, my dad streams on Twitch. And <laughs> he's already at the age where we're playing video games together. I have a video coming out next week. It's available right now if you guys are Patreon. Uh, I have a video coming out next week. With Declan and I playing uh, playing Minecraft, um, so yeah, it, he's already like participating in content and everything, and so uh, it's only a matter of time before like he starts going to school and talking about you know making videos with his friends, and his friends gonna be like, oh, I'm using this game, uh, I'm using this platform, and then pretty soon it's gonna look like, oh, like this is a uh, uh, oh yeah, well I'm not gonna I'm gonna stream on TikTok or fucking whatever other you know service pops up that that becomes hip with with kids that are uh you know between the ages of uh probably 10 and, and 14 which is like that's a critical look at fucking fortnite all right it's like look at fortnite uh if epic if epic came up with his own streaming platform it would be well i don't know fortnite's kind of losing its its uh its momentum thanks to fucking pewdiepie no seriously thanks to fucking pewdiepie playing minecraft all of a sudden suddenly minecraft is huge again and it's fucking wild how that works. One, one person can have such an impact. Um, by the way, Tencent motion picture is actually a thing. They're doing a beautiful day in the neighborhood thing. Yep. Yep. Tencent, mo Tencent has a, a stake in everything. But yeah, the, if you watch the, uh, the beautiful day uh, uh, in the neighborhood. Was it called beautiful day in the neighborhood? I think. With Tom Hanks. Mr. Rogers Tom Hanks. Uh, which is a great. It looks like it's going to be a great movie. Of course. But uh, yeah. Oh, there's Sunday. There she is. Meow, meow. <laughs> your dad's level will be measured by your worth in streaming platforms. Mike, you're so ahead of the game. <laughs> I know. I'm no, no, I am, and I'm also not. I'm going to be, I will be knowledgeable in the platforms, but it's not something that I'm going to be, uh, like, I'm not going to stream on whatever platform Declan's going to stream on. And that's purely because, you know, I'm going to be the old man there. Oh, you stream with your dad? Not cool. <gasps> Moving on. The Doom Trilogy has dropped for all major consoles out of nowhere. This is a very real thing. This actually happened. Uh, oh, I lost my other link. If somebody could grab that link of the... Uh, uh, actually, I'll probably go grab it real quick. Um, I don't know where it's at. 
But there is a, a link, a follow up link to this where. So first off, yes, the Doom trilogy is available on all platforms, including yes, Yagrix, um, including Switch. When you see all platforms, it sometimes they you know it doesn't always uh, all major consoles for some reason doesn't always include Switch. Uh, but yeah, it's also available on Switch. That is, if you're wondering what the trilogy is, it's Doom One, Doom Two, and Doom Three. Okay, which I, not everybody includes Doom Three. Uh, in that uh in the category of doom trilogy but i want you to know that it is included in that so uh here it is so these doom ports force you to log into bnet uh just so you know bnet is uh it, that is the bethesda net not battle net i know we're so used to calling especially all, all of us around here are so used to calling uh battle net bnet <clears throat> so you cannot play it offline until you authenticate I guess at least a couple of times or something like that. Cause as this guy says, he says, so these doom ports force you to log into a BNet account, uh, <laughs> to play fucking doom. Uh, and then it says, uh, you can't play doom games if you aren't logged in the internet. And then he says, okay, so if you log in and keep being logged into Bethesda net, then you can play offline. Okay. Not as bad as I feared. I had to log into the game twice before it authenticated me. What a confusing mess. So when I first saw that, that the Doom trilogy is going to be available on Switch, I almost immediately went and downloaded it. Um, but I'm going to hard fucking pass on this. Hard fucking pass. I'm not, I'm not going to fucking play. I, I have Doom on so many fucking platforms right now. I don't necessarily need it on, uh, on Switch. I definitely don't need to sign, to, to sign in using fucking Bethesda net. I don't want, I'm not going to do that. Like, kiss my ass. Um, they've really lost their way recently. Yeah, it's, uh, just really, it's already have an account? Email, create accounts. It, just don't do it. I mean, I, I'm uh, honest, I'll be honest. I, I would, I would, I still am thinking about like, God, should I just fucking do it and stop being a fucking chump? Um, part of me wants to, but at the same time, like, first off, I don't know what logging in really gives them access to, because I don't think there's, I don't think there's any kind of privacy statement or anything unless i go through and read that terms of service i'm hitting that button right there uh so i don't know what kind of information they have access to probably nothing but at this but also one thing i really have to consider is that yes my nostalgia is hitting me pretty fucking hard and to be able to play this on a switch it's not the same as playing on uh on pc of course but it would be kind of nice um but i might only play it for like 10 minutes so it's not really worth it yeah it's not it's it's great but i probably wouldn't even really play it and so it's like Maybe I just don't support this because realistically, I probably just won't even play it. And then if I do want to play it, I might have to fucking log in. And so it just becomes a hassle. And so now it's just like, why even bother? Uh, I can't do on a controller. So no matter the, no matter the platform, another launcher, I know another launcher within, 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 within a platform. Obviously, we could draw we could draw comparisons between UPlay and Steam and Epic and all those things, all having these interchangeable and overlapping, you know, things. But but still, you know, if you if you're okay with all this stuff, then please by all means. But I assure you, you're not going to play through. You will not. You are not going to play through the entirety of any one of those Doom games on Switch. You're going to play for an hour, maybe two hours, and that's it. So really think about if you want to waste your time doing that. Hi Sunday she's so she's so needy and rightfully so um next speaking of launchers and platforms and whatnot bethesda has lost a lot of respect and clout with fought with fallout 74 or 76 74 yeah uh no <laughs> i forget uh i'm not sure the next elder scroll will be worth it uh wait you're waiting for me to review it i can't i'm not gonna i i'm not gonna play that shit that's my review. I'm not touching that shit. <laughs> Fuck that. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be garbage, Eggers. Uh, seriously, it's gonna be garbage. It's gonna be hot garbage. There's no way. There's no way they're gonna come off of a streak of having just just hot garbage ass launch games, and just all of a sudden release a game that's gonna be good. It's just not gonna happen. So, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to, and, and I would highly recommend nobody else waste their time. Uh, let's, yeah, let somebody else, 
Let some, first off, let somebody who has actually put time into Skyrim play it. I'm not that person. All right. Let somebody who's actually put some significant time into Skyrim play it and put an, put an actual review out. That's somebody that I would go to that I would trust. Right. Um, I don't know anybody like that. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm sure that there, you guys probably know there's a content creator out there somewhere who is, who's maybe plays a shitload of stuff. Um, a shitload of, uh, Skyrim. Let them be the judge. Let them be the judge. Oh, God damn it. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. She's just staring at me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no. Never. Fucking never. Yeah. Um, next up. Next up. You don't need to get on the desk. You're shedding all over the place. Uh, MechWarrior 5 has a release date. Mech, Mech Warrior 5 is going to be available December 10th, 2019. And I'm trying to reach my thing here so I can show you guys. It's also going to be available exclusively on Epic. Epic Game Store exclusivity! You hear that Sunday? It's going to be exclusive. Mwah. Here, you go play. Or go sit there and stare at me. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, so Mech Warrior 5. Exclusive to Epic Game Store, December 10th. You can file for a, return, a refund on this uh, through September 1st. Actually, they put it right here. I'm going to make sure I get that date just right here. Hold on a second. Uh, let's see. However, refund of pre orders, blah, blah, blah. Refund, refund. I always do this. Refund. Uh, September 1st. Yes, yeah, so September 1st. So please. If you, uh, if you are not satisfied with it being exclusive to, to Epic, if you are, then great. You're, you're, you're in for a treat. It's going to be on a platform that you support. Um, but if you are not somebody who supports uh, Epic Game Store, then please make sure that you, you, you process a refund uh, before September 1st, if you pre-ordered. Um, I was pretty angry about this, actually. Refund, uh, handy compressor. <laughs> you were looking forward to this in September? Yeah, yeah. I refuse to give my credit card info. Dude, with as many times as I've logged in in the past and have my account be locked because somebody else is attempting to log in, there is no way in hell. Not anytime soon, anyways, uh, to give them uh, my credit card info. Uh, Des know what they're doing. They're pleased to take a reputation hit for the money. Yes, yeah, and that's, that is a very, 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 very important point. Very. N none of these issues have happened in a bubble. None of this outrage has happened in a bubble or in a vacuum. Um, Everybody knows these devs are well aware of what they're doing. Uh, they, they know that they're going to get shit on for this and they're okay with doing it. What their motivation is, we don't know. Uh, Saren says the devs are not exactly happy with Steam either at the moment. Uh, if that's the case, we don't know. We do know that they do take money. We, we know that, we know that for a fact, okay? That's not speculation, okay? We know for a fact they, they do uh, take a certain amount of money up to the guarantee for a certain number of sales, and that's the negotiable part. Um, and so they're going to get a guaranteed amount of money up front, and, uh, and they're okay with, with making that trade. So the longer we go, like the, 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 the longer, the more time that passes, uh, where these things are happening and the developers continue to do it, then we just need to just, I mean, really just, I guess we just need to, uh, yield and just say, you know what, you know, we just, I mean, you don't have to support Epic Game Store or anything like that, but you just have to basically accept the fact that you know, all of your favorite games are, uh, are, are going to be going to Epic first. And that's all, that's all you could do. Buy an Xbox, I guess. Uh, because the money's there. Epic is going to continue to do it as long as they keep, as long as they have money coming in. Uh, and yeah, as Kitten says, it's only sustainable for as long as Fortnite is subsidizing Epic's shitty marketing choices. Exactly. So really, so really, y'all should subscribe to PewDiePie. And let me tell you why. Because, like I said earlier, PewDiePie is like single-handedly resurrecting, and I won't, I'm not saying it's, it was dead, but it was definitely not the, uh, it was not the number one stream game or number one talk about anything amongst any crowds, Minecraft. Uh, but then he just randomly starts fucking making daily videos about Minecraft. Uh, and suddenly the popularity is blown up. 
And so with that, Fortnite's popularity has gone down. So really, you guys should all thank PewDiePie <laughs> for trying to get this ball rolling on slowly chipping away at, uh, at Epic's income. They say where you're painting yourself in a corner with bad rep plus exclusivity, you will have to, as a dev, keep pushing exclusivity because people aren't going to buy slash play your games. Yeah. And, 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 you know, this is also, I have, I have never, I have never seen so much public and very vocal support. Not never, but not in a lot, like 20 years have I seen so much public support for piracy. Uh, it's, it's, I thought that, that, I thought that whole era was over with. Uh, I, I understand that, and I understand that maybe some of you folks probably pirate shit on a regular basis, and you know what, that's your prerogative. It's not, you shouldn't do it, okay? If we just, on the record, you shouldn't do it. Uh, but there is, there are a lot of people who are now tempted to, uh, to go that route because they want to play these games. And, <laughs> and they're gonna, they're gonna want to start, they're gonna want to play these games no matter what the cost. And if that is, if the cost is literally them, you know, outside of, you know, going to Epic, of course, um, if the cost is just them going to their favorite torrent site or whatever and downloading the game directly, then, uh, then that's, yeah, it's just, it's crazy how many people are just so vocal about it, right? Just so vocal about it. Uh, it again, it used to be a joke. Everyone talked about it. It's like, oh yeah, fuck like Adobe, you know, Premiere or whatever, or Adobe Creative Suite or whatever the fuck it was called back then, Creative Suite. Uh, it's like, yeah, I was going to download that. I'm not going to pay $1,600 for whatever. By the way, I paid $1,600 for my first copy. Um, but I did pirate the first copy. Absolutely. Fucking 20 years ago or whatever, I, I, I had to pirate a copy because I lost my disc. <laughs> so I had to. Uh, but I have since bought the copy like fucking twice. I bought the game thing like twice. But still though, like it's so vocal. Everyone's so vocal about it now. Fucking Epic is like driving up piracy for fuck's sake. Uh, it'd be cheaper to take a course at college and get the student discount. <laughs> it, you're right. You're right. It probably would have been. But I didn't have the time. Um... Yeah, I actually, I still have my box for the original version of uh, one point something. I still have that box. It's like 1990 something. And then uh, uh, I, have a, I have a box for 2007 or 2000, 2009, I think, is when I had to buy it again. Um, can you imagine if Cyberpunk 2077 was uh, epic exclusive? The world would fucking explode. If, if Cyberpunk, it, right now, Cyberpunk 2077 is, is, is shaping itself. It's really, really building itself up to be the game, the, the game that will not cave to pressure they're not going to cave to bullshittery that's what they're really they're really 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 building themselves up to be that um you know that game that whatever so uh but but everybody has a price even clay has yeah even clay has caved and that was that was painful that was that was pretty painful um you know i had a little back and forth with clay on uh on twitter they still follow me so at least they're not that mad I think they still follow me. <laughs> so they're not that mad, but, but yeah. Uh, oh, 100% cut kind of GOG. I, you know, I actually, I had a discussion with a friend of mine who works in the industry. Um, and he's, he works, he works at a, for a pretty big part of the industry. Uh, and I don't want to say what, what he does, but, um, but he, what did he say? He said, uh, oh, you're not a fan of devs getting money. And man, I was just like, you are so, wow, I can't believe how out of touch you've gotten. <laughs> <laughs> like I, it's just, I mean, I understand from his perspective, working in the industry and what he does and everything. It's like, he looks at it as developers are getting money. Uh, but I'm sorry, man. I'm a consumerist. <laughs> like I, 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 I hundred percent believe in consumer rights and that consumers should not be, you know, just thrown around at the whim of whatever money is being tossed around for between whatever companies. Uh, I think it's wrong. Uh, yeah. My perspective is very different. And from, from his, and it's something that, um, that, yeah, it's just, it's wrong. And I, there's a lot, there's a lot of, even my own colleagues on Twitter, you know, they, 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 they treat, you know, people who, um, who think that Epic game store is, uh, is a negative. They, 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 they act like those people are in the wrong, uh, amongst other things. Right. Uh, and those other things are usually somehow it gets associated with, with, I don't know. No, no, anyways, the Gamergate or some weird shit. It's fucking weird. Uh, but, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> consumers should be first, man. The customer is always right. Quote unquote. Uh, they, they shouldn't, we should not be 
beholden to, you know, whatever random company comes up and tells us, oh, we're going to install this software on your computer and you have to, you know, play all these games that you were looking forward to on our platform uh, using, yeah, using the software that we're forcing you to, to install on your computer. Yeah, we did it for Steam. Uh, we did it for Steam, but Steam doesn't have exclusives. <laughs> <laughs> that's the big difference man uh that's the big fucking difference if epic just had the game just like steam does just have the game then uh steam 100 has exclusives oh really by choice you can't say that a developer who can't afford to pay the entry fee to get uh oh yeah sorry uh paid exclusives sorry i should i should i should please sorry i should have said paid exclusives sorry um are they pay? Are they paid exclusives? That's the biggest thing. Uh, I don't know anything about the VR exclusives necessarily. Actually, I don't think that's true at all, Sarah. I'm sorry to say, but I don't think that's true at all uh, because I've seen plenty of VR titles go both ways. It was Oculus. It was Oculus Rift. It was Facebook that was uh, that was trying to lock down the uh, the VR thing. Now, I, now you said it's been a year. Now I have been I've been out of the VR shit for about that long. So. Uh, but yeah, VR exclusives has, has, has always been, historically been, Oculus. Uh, it's one thing when a dev chooses to only be on Steam, another when they sign a contract. Steam exclusives are mainly their own games. Uh, Cyberpunk is also on GOG. Steam actually made their VR platform open to play uh, Oculus stuff as well. Exactly. Uh, honestly, the Steam products are actually pretty good. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've said this before and I'll say it again because I know that eventually when I do start using the Epic Game Store platform that I'm going to be called a hypocrite. But uh, I... I would, I will use their platform when they feature match, when they actually feature match Steam. Because I do use a lot of Steam features all the time. I use Steam Link every day. Every single fucking day, I use Steam Link at least once. Uh, and there's a number of things associated with Steam Link that, uh, that, that I use as, uh, as well. So yeah, that's, you know, if a year from now when they, they actually, if they actually go and they, you know, create some kind of way I could stream to the TV or to like a mobile device or whatever, uh, then great. Some kind of sharing or something, then great. But as of right now, uh, they, they have not earned my, as a consumer, they have not earned my attention. Uh, you can't gift games on Epic Store. It's almost like they hate money. Yeah, dude, gifting. That's another thing too. Uh, I'm sure they will eventually have these things, like I said. So eventually I will probably start using their platform. But they don't have shit right now. Steam Link, uh, friends list, can't review, content board. Yeah, that's right. Cart, so cart and reviews. Yeah, seriously. They have a roadmap. Yes, they have a roadmap. But as somebody who's worked with roadmaps before, they're not always set in stone. I could write all kinds of shit on there. You have no idea how long it's going to take. <laughs> you have no idea how long it's going to take. Uh... Uh, the problem is exactly what like Mike said though, uh, because nobody else is feature matching. Steam is more reputable than say Epic. It's better to develop a game for Steam than take the thirty percent. They finally have all the features. It's been eighty four years. I gift, yeah. Uh, or it still doesn't have cross country gifting either, for that matter. Uh, cross country? Oh, cross. Yeah, because of the different uh, platforms. I'm sure there's probably some. I think Steam has some kind of limitation there as well for certain types of trades. Not necessarily gifting. You can just gift whatever. But there's there was some kind of limitation that had come up. I don't know what it is. But I don't want to dwell too much because we're actually doing a news show, guys. So uh, unless you have something, you have, you have like an actual counter argument to anything I've said right now. Let's move on. Um, follow ups. Follow ups to was it last week? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Two episodes ago. FIFA packs and, I'm sorry, surprise mechanics has been deemed as not gambling in the UK. This was the DCMS, uh, the digital content something something. Uh, we, watched the, we watched the video of this actually, um, where she actually did say specifically that, uh, uh, that they, are, they call them surprise mechanics. And the UK has now deemed this being... Uh, not gambling. So, <laughs> uh, you said the title is misleading. Is it? Is it? Because even, even, I read the article and it seems, you know, it talks about, it says Belgian banned loot boxes. This is no skit. It goes into details about all this stuff. It talks about GTA 5 Casino, which is something that's going to be whatever. Uh, we're probably going to talk about that next week because it, it's just very recent. Um, but, uh, but no, it, this, this, 
they have said it says speaking at the uh, at the DMCS Select Committee, uh, Gambling Commission Chief Executive Neil MacArthur admitted that there were significant concerns around children playing video games, in which there were elements of expenditure and chance. However, he added that under current legislation, it did not classify as gambling. So. There are other examples of things that look and feel like gambling that legislation tells you are not, such as some prize competitions, but but because they have free play or free play, a free entry, they are not gambling, but they are a lot like a lottery. So, yeah, it's, it's, um, it says it does not follow the UK's definition, right? They can, they can, oh yeah, they can always change that, but they have indeed deemed it as being not, uh, not gambling. Uh, it could change, sure. But how quickly have you seen legislation be passed to change anything? Ever. <laughs> Fucking ever, really. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so there, there's your update on that. Also, last week, we talked about the Joy-Cons thing. Uh, the uh, Switch Joy-Cons were basically leaning a little bit to the left. Much like some of y'all's penis. And... Nintendo has recognized that that is an issue and they are offering free repairs. The biggest thing about repairs prior, uh, besides them, uh, uh, not acknowledging that it was an issue was that, uh, um, they were requiring a proof of purchase. Now I don't have my proof of purchase for switch. The switch was gifted to me, so I definitely don't have it uh, anywhere. Even if I bought it myself, uh, I would still not have the receipt laying around. Uh, I just don't. And so I'm sure many of you guys who have consoles probably don't have the receipts for those consoles just like ready to go. Some of you might for sure. Uh, but I would, I would argue that probably the greater majority of you guys do not have them laying around just waiting for an issue like this to pop up. Uh, so they're saying customers will no longer be requested to provide proof of purchase for Joy-Con repairs. Additionally, it is not necessary to confirm warranty status. If a customer requests a refund uh, for a previously paid Joy-Con repair, uh, confirm the prior repair and then issue a refund. Um, Amazon receipt email. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. I guess I guess you would have uh, Amazon if you bought it through Amazon for sure. But if you bought it from like, you know, GameStop or 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 uh, Best Buy or anything like that, then yeah, you're you're not gonna have anything. No one buys anything from brick and mortars. Online shopping and I was deleting invoices. Well, there you go, there you go. Uh, I just scan all my receipts because thermal paper receipts are dumb. Oh yeah, they don't last. They don't last as long as the warranties do. That's for fucking sure. Um. Costco. <laughs> That's the right answer right there. Costco. Just take the whole bitch back. Just take the whole thing back and just be like, wait, this fucking doesn't work. And they're just like, okay. <laughs> Costco is the best with that kind of shit. Uh, this cat. Um, That's it. That's really it. <laughs> uh, So, I don't think we have nothing else to really talk about today. I think we're good. Uh, there, there was one more thing that I was going to leave out. I'm going to put it. I'm going to play it. Okay, okay. I'm trying, I'm trying to close out, but I'm going to play it. This is such a fucking weird thing. And it has nothing to do with, uh, with anything that, um, that we cover normally. But Logan Paul was on, what was it? Fox Business for some reason. And. To be honest with you, uh. It, it was f fucking weird. I feel like he was just trolling these guys. I would not have brought it up, except I truly fucking believe that he went on this show and just wanted to fuck with them. Just watch. Here. If I'm being quite honest with you, uh, I, I'm the fastest YouTuber. I'm the fastest entertainer on the planet. I could You're be about running. running. I could be the quickest man on the planet. You, you I'm everywhere, Instagram. baby. I'm everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm everywhere. And I'm nowhere. I'm like a ghost. Liz, I do have to stop you right there. So you said you used the word controversial. Yes. Um, just so you know, I, I am an ex-controversial YouTuber. That's Correct. No, yeah, that's no longer me. We kinda, I know that. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm betting $100,000 that I'm the fastest man on the planet. I'm the fastest man on the planet. Yeah, but I will say my expenses just surpassed my income for the first time ever. I just sat with my financial manager. He mm -hmm. told me that. Like, I'm, I'm definitely going downhill from Did here. Did that make you nervous? Yeah, absolutely. I'm terrified. I think it's the, the beginning of the end. <laughs> like, <I'm> <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, I guess they're talking about popular YouTubers or something like that. But it's so fucking weird. Like... I, oh, oh, we know, trust, we know that he's not faster than Usain Bolt, for sure. Which really, which really just kind of 
br pulls the needle back to this guy is just, he is just fucking with them. Hey, oh, I'm sorry, guy. No, I'm, I'm X. X. Is he fucking? No, he's not. I'm uncomfortable with myself. No, know? no, he's not. I, I, I know. I, I had to check to see if he was actually Naruto running. Cause now that I know what that is. Uh, <laughs> I got, dude, I got Gary Busey fucking vibes from this. I watched this and I was like, wow, this is like the next Gary Busey. Holy shit. Um, he's almost coming. In. Yeah, I know. <laughs> This is the one time that Logan Paul is actually coming across as like likable. It's like this motherfucker. Uh, I, I think I'm the fastest entertainer. Oh yeah, I got a hundred thousand dollars right. I'm the fastest entertainer. Uh, how to grab all those Fox fans? Yeah, this is so good. Yeah. So, anyways, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B. Chat. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out today. I do appreciate it. It was a fantastic news day. Uh, and that's it. Next week, news, same time. Make sure you watch it. And that's it. See you later.